Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video. And this is coming from the YouTube channel, History on Maps. And today we're gonna be taking a look at Korea. It is the full history of Korea in five minutes. So uh, let's get straight into it. Korea, a peninsula in East Asia, is bordered by China to the northwest and separated from Japan to the east. Since 1945, Korea is divided into two countries at the 38th parallel, North Korea and South Korea. Early History In 2333 BCE, Gojoseon, the first Korean kingdom, was established by Dangu, deemed the grandson of heaven. By the 3rd century BC, the southern part of Korea was occupied by the Jin state. Gojoseon underwent three periods, Dangun Junseon, Gija Joseon, and Wimin Joseon. In 108 BCE, it was invaded by the Han dynasty which then installed four commanderies in northern Korea. Within a few decades, three of the commanderies fell within a few decades, except the Lilang commandery. The northern part of the peninsula and Manchuria was then occupied by Byuyo, Bujoryo, Okijo, Dange, and other minor statelets, while in the south, the Jin state gave rise to the loose confederacies Jinhan, Byohan, and Mahan. Three Kingdoms of Korea The Three Kingdoms of Korea compromise Gujuraso, Silla, and Bakji. From the 1st century AD, Gujuro gradually conquered its neighbors and occupied the northern part of Korea, while Bakaji and Silla grew to control the southern. In the early 6th century, Silla's power extended across the Korean peninsula. By the 640s, Silla formed an alliance with the Tang Dynasty of China to conquer Baekji and later Gojuryeo, unifying the central and southern parts of the Korean peninsula into unified Silla. Meanwhile, the northern part was under the control of Balhae, founded by King Go. In the late 9th century, Silla was divided into the brief later three kingdoms of Silla, later Bakji, and Taebong, before falling to Goryeo in 935. Goryeo and Joseon Dynasty Goryeo was founded by Wang Jian in 918 as the successor of Gojiro, with Kaesong as the capital, gradually unifying most of the Korean peninsula. Following the Mongol invasions of Korea from 1230 to 1270, Goryeo existed as a vassal state and compulsory ally of the Mongol-ruled Wan dynasty in China. After a coup, General Yi Songgi overthrew the Goryeo dynasty and, in 1392, established the Joseon dynasty. The capital was moved from Kaesong to Hanseong. Under King Sejong the Great, Joseon enjoyed numerous beneficial administrative, social, scientific, and economic reform. Quick note, I haven't really been pausing it because literally every bit of this information is new to me. I don't know a whole, whole lot about Korea, um, and I certainly don't know uh, anything about Korea this far back. Um, the only stuff I'm familiar with with Korea is more of your current culture. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot of comments other than that this is all new information for me. I'm just trying to see what I can retain from this. Forms. Especially, he created Hangul, the Korean alphabet. From 1592 to 1598, Joseon suffered from the great destruction of the Japanese invasions. Following two invasions by the latter Jin and Qing dynasties, Joseon became a subordinate of the Qing Empire. In the 19th century, Joseon adopted a harsh isolationist policy, for which it became known as the Hermit Kingdom. However, Joseon was soon forced to open its borders, leading to an era of Japanese imperial rule. Korean Empire and Japanese Occupation Following the Sino-Japanese War and the Treaty of Shimoneski, Korea was recognized with full and complete independence and autonomy by the Qing Dynasty. In 1897, the Joseon dynasty proclaimed that the Korean Empire with Empire King Gojong. Russia posed a strong influence in the Korean Empire until the Russo-Japanese War, which pushed the Russians out of the fight for Korea. The following year, Korea became a protectorate of Japan. 
1910, Japan formally annexed Korean Empire with the Japan-Korea Annexation Treaty. Thereafter, Korea was officially named Chosen. Since huh. 1939, over 5 million Koreans were conscripted for labor, 10,000 men were forced into Japan's military, and about 200,000 girls and women were forced into sexual slavery for the Japanese military. Wow. Division and Korea War After the end of World War II, with the unconditional surrender of Japan in 1945, Korea was partitioned along the 38th parallel with the North under Soviet occupation and the South under U.S. occupation. The politics of the Cold War resulted in the 1948 establishment of two sovereign states, North Korea, officially the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and South Korea, officially the Republic of Korea. In 1950, the Korean War broke out when Soviet-backed North Korea invaded South Korea and ended without a formalized peace treaty. The Korean Peninsula remained divided by the Korean demilitarized zone up to the present day. Modern Korea After the war, South Korea witnessed enormous economic growth in a period called the Miracle on the Han River, giving rise to numerous family conglomerates such as Samsung, Hyundai, SK Group, and LG Corporation. In 1987, South Korea transitioned into a constitutional democracy. Today, South Korea is a leading economy and is famous for bringing the Hallyu wave to the entertainment industry all over the world. Meanwhile, under Soviet influence, North Korea adopted a communist government. The dissolution of the Soviet Union... Is it's crazy to me that, like, Korea's, North Korea is bordered on the North and the South, and that they've been able to maintain this dictatorship, you know, like, I know that uh, Cuba is that way, but it's its own little island. It's isolated. Even though it's close to America, it's isolated, right? So, um... I guess is Venezuela a dictatorship as well? Uh, forgive me, but I, I thought that that's something that happened in recent years, uh, and it is connected to other uh, countries. But it's just strange to me that in this day and age, um, something like North Korea and, and the propaganda that they put out about America being evil and all of that stuff can, can exist, um, especially while... It's bordering other countries. In 1991, led to a full-scale collapse of the North Korean economy. By the 21st century, Kim Jong-il, and later his son Kim Jong-un, decided to pursue nuclear weapons, creating a series of crises ongoing to the present day. In 2018, the Panmunjom Declaration was signed between the Supreme Leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, and the President of South Korea. Moon Jae-in, announcing that they will work to officially end the Korean long-lasting conflict. Gotta get Kim Jong-un's head straight, because I would never trust that guy. I would, no matter what he tells you he's going to do, I just would not trust that guy. Was that the end of the video? That they will work to officially end the Korean long-lasting conflict. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. Yep. So again, uh, this channel is called uh, Maps. What is it called? History on Maps. So go check them out if you like this video. Um, what are your thoughts on, on North Korea uh, still being a dictatorship and in, in the closing of the video saying that um, they're going to work to eliminate that? And, and uh, do you believe that will actually happen or do you think that they'll try to... Um, push their belief system to South Korea. Uh, if you're new here and you like this video or this type of content, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below, like I said, on your thoughts on, on the North Korea. And tell me where in the world you are watching me from. Uh, just out of curiosity, I always like to know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.